Hello and welcome to my channel and welcome to another Once Upon a Time Reaction. This is uh, Season 3, Episode 12 and it is called New York Serenade. Now this has must have to do with that strange man that came to Emma's door and sexually assaulted her. Yeah, Hook. Um, but she doesn't know who he is. And I don't know how this is going to play. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to play out. Um, Regina and the entirety of Storybook, minus Emma and minus Henry, were transported back to uh, the Emerald, the Emerald Forest, the Enchanted Forest. But when were they transported back in time? I don't think that's possible. Although she did, ah, oh, she did get the apple, didn't she? Using Jefferson's hat, and she was doing that. She was using that to go back in time. Yeah, it's it's complicated because if she hasn't rewritten time and has only recreated or created fake memories, then there's going to be people around that have different ideas of what happened than they do. Uh, Mulan, for instance, uh, the doctor that helped, you know, that delivered Henry. You know, is he going to say, uh, yeah, the, the kid was adopted? And Emma's like, no, 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 I definitely raised the kid myself. Uh, is Mulan going to be you know well yeah the dark curse was enacted and everyone disappeared and we was frozen in time for 28 years and the residents of the enchanted forest are like no no never happened no the queen turned over a new leaf and everything was ha hunky dory happily ever after asked to um say something about something that was in episode nine and that is the tree the tree of regret and the fact that Regina came out of it with, you know, with that big bravado speech about having no regrets, despite the fact that she tortured and murdered people. Mm, heavy stuff, heavy stuff. I don't really know what to make of that because we know that she has tried for redemption on numerous occasions now that we've seen episode nine and seen exactly what she was willing to do and to sacrifice in order to raise Henry now I know she she got Henry for very selfish reasons but no more than virtually the birth of every person that's ever existed <sighs> no I can't blame her for that one I can't, I can't say that she was selfish in wanting Henry she was that's it's just that's the way of the world um no no regret and redemption i think i think regina is what well, of that point was in the process of redemption i think regret your know, true regret comes later no, I don't, I don't know that for sure. I, I'm, I've always said that I don't regret anything in my life. I'm ashamed of certain things in my life that I've done. But I don't regret anything. And I think that's where she's coming from. I mean, she may be ashamed of some of the things she's done. She may, in some ways, would like to have done it better. But regret that doesn't really seem in in Regina's grasp it doesn't even seem in Regina's psyche to be regretful about anything she does what she needs to do you know what I, I think I'm talking crap um maybe I'll have a rethink about this one and come back to it as for I'd, I'd like to I'd like to see more of Regina and yeah see her process of redemption whether we're going to get that or not now i i don't know it feels like season one episode one kind of 
it's like I'm going into this with kind of no knowledge of <laughs> how this is going to work even though I've been watching it for two and a half seasons um, okay okay um, Emma and Hook I've been asked to say something about the Emma and Hook relationship and what my opinions are of it <coughs> you know what <coughs> I'll tell you after this episode let's go Thanks. I am confused. This is way too loud. Hang on, I'm just gonna finish one quick work thing. You! I can explain. <laughs> you are a stalker! Don't scream. Just hear me out. I don't do this very often, so treasure it, love. I've come to apologize. You're trying to kiss me? I was simply trying to jog your memory. It's time for you to go. Now. I mean, your parents are in great danger. You really have no idea what you're talking about. Because you think you're an orphan. Because that's haunted you your whole life. I'm here to tell you everything you believed is wrong. You don't know me. Unless I know you better than you know yourself. At the moment, yes. I have proof. Take a gun. Here's an address. If you want to know who you really are, who your parents are... Neil's address? No. Go there. Leave. Now. You've been there before. A year ago, you just don't remember. A year ago, I was in Boston. Until a fire destroyed my apartment and I moved to New York to have a fresh start with my son. So what'd you say? To wash? <laughs> of course he knew. Oh. Come on, Mom. For a state restaurant, special night out. Writing was on the wall. Technically the writing was in the dessert. <laughs> so what'd you say? <laughs> poor guy. I didn't say no. <laughs> well, if you didn't say yes, I stand by my poor guy. So yeah. <laughs> think about it. I mean, this is a big step, kid. A good thing going here, just the two of us. Yeah, and we'd still have a good thing if it was just the three of us. You think Walsh is worthy of joining the family? Walsh. Walsh. It's a weird He's name. Okay. Right now, go to the address. That's got to be um, Neil Neil's old apartment, isn't it? Do you remember the dream catcher? Oh, yeah. Buy a paper for nightmares. Neil. What? Because <laughs> he doesn't know Henry existed, so... Find a way for Henry. Oh, she's going to have to wash it now and before she puts it in, otherwise it's going to all get infected. Oh. oh no, no, it's quite clean still. That's alright then. Well done, Regina, though. Well done for doing it. For trusting Snow. Now, let's get back to our castle. There's nothing here. Unless it flew away. It did! Hey! What the fuck? No. And he? I don't run from monsters. They run from me. It's like a harpy. Oh my god, it's a winged monkey. Oh my god, it's a flying monkey. It's a flying monkey. It's the Wicked Witch of the West. Holy shit, we're going to get the Wicked Witch of the West. Milady, You're injured. Oh, she's got the photos developed. <gasps> 
it shows her there at the apartment, doesn't it? Ha <laughs> and she's bowed him out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. And she shrinks. Oh, it's one potion. She remembers again. Now they're gonna tell Henry. What are you talking about? It's too bad. I actually kind of liked you. Who are you? Yes, who are you? Oh my god, he's a flying monkey. Well, that that was easier than expected. A reminder the break up. That I was never safe. That what I wanted, what I thought I could have, was not in the cards for the savior. No, it's sad, but in the morning. let's go. Let's do it. Let's, come on, let's go. <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? Why are you dressed like that? All right, all right. Bags. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, lend him a hand. Wait, we're really going? Yes. I just need one last thing. Hey, yes! The action jacket. Oh, close the door. I, I, my name is Emma. Oh, good. They do remember. You remember? You remember? Of course. What, what are you doing here? Well, no, Hook found me. He brought me here. He said you were cursed. Yeah, we're back. We're, we never left. Or, <laughs> well, we don't know. We're trapped again. But you know who you are. This curse, we don't know who did it or why. All we know is our last year, it's been wiped away. Wiped away? All we remember is saying goodbye to you. It feels like yesterday. But if you can't remember, then how do you know that it's been a... Emma? Because they've got a kid, no? Here. <sighs> She's As pregnant. See, yes. Lots happened. Oh, pretty far gone as well. We just don't know what. Oh, she was probably actually oh, yes. pregnant at that point, wasn't she? Oh, like the actress. <laughs> I know that. Oh, you get what I need? See, yeah, this is her, isn't it? Show me. Is she going to be green? That's her blood. The queen's. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, she's got a, quite a nice voice. Now, now I shall get my revenge. She's green. Of course I will. The queen may be evil. But I am wicked. But I am wicked. <laughs> always wins. <laughs> oh -hoo! That was <laughs> epic. That was excellent. I really enjoyed that. Um, it seems that my comments at the beginning of the episode, which I now I'm thinking about it, I may cut some of them out because they're completely irrelevant to this. How the story has gone, it's like we're back back to the beginning again, like back literally back in storybook again. 
Um, what's going to happen? I mean, I, I assume it's going to be Emma trying to break the curse, figure out who done that to them. We know it was the Wicked Witch of the West. Um, I don't, yeah. Um, but we're going to get flashbacks to that year and, and the different things that have happened throughout the next part of the season. I don't know. It's getting so weird and I'm, I'm loving it. I'm still loving it. Um, Hook and Emma. Yeah, I'm, I'm not totally against the idea. I'm not totally for the idea of a romance with Hook and Emma. I don't, at this point, it seems totally irrelevant to any of the plots that are going on, whether they get it on or not. I personally would like to see Emma with Neil, because I, I really like Neil. But from Emma's point of view, Hook isn't really, hasn't, isn't really villainous. He hasn't done anything particularly villainous aside from uh, siding with Cora, and he quickly deserted her. And that was all about Regina anyway, which everyone hated. Everyone hated Regina at that point anyway, so... From Emma's point of view, I don't think Hook is a villain. Just as he classes himself, a rapscallion. Um, so yeah, um, whether they get it on or not, I think he's not really... Not really relevant at this point. And I really couldn't give a monkeys one way or the other, to be quite honest. Anyway, yes, lovely, fantastic episode. I'm really looking forward to this next part of the season. And uh, well, I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you for watching and listening to my absolute garbage. You've been wonderful, as always. Bye-bye.